On the other side, old Lord Krishna and Arjun stayed under the great chariot thrown by the white horse that sounded the transcendental conch cells. So after, after Duryodhana was comparing the troops of his side and then the Pandavas' sides for the Trona, Bhishma blew his conch cell. And that's, uh, the, the idea was that, that he, like a, the symbolic value of that was that, that, that they don't have a chance that the Pandavas, because Krishna is fighting on the sides of the Pandavas, uh, like uh, Pandavas, the, the, the uh, Duryanadas side don't have any chance. And then the, all the other other warriors like uh, responded on that sound just to make the same statement. And then at the end, the Krishna himself and Arjuna, they blew their gong cells. And that's was uh, finalizing that uh, that uh, that thing that they Duryodhana will lose. So there was a very great symbolic value in that uh, blowing these uh, gong cells on this ba battlefield. <clears throat> 